you you won something on the Price is Right. Uh, I don't, one right? is one is a strong word. Uh, it w- they were consolation prizes. Oh, I thought you got something big. What did you get? A ping no. pong table or something? I remember no, you... Chaz. That was because I didn't ever get on stage. I'm so upset about it. I so thought I was I was the fifth person so like you know they have the first four people that they call up at the beginning of the show right yeah i was the first one called up after that so i was pretty much on contestants roll the whole time and i never got on stage really it was my fault why do i have i have a memory of you being on stage in some clip that i saw or something no, no i mean i i made a big splash for the time i was on camera it was yeah. really loud and then you dance around i, the down, I danced yeah. I, okay that's what i'm thinking of yeah. uh no my consolation prize was a trip to vegas and a ping pong table well, the reason I wanted to ask you is people are hardcore fans of that and are curious, you know, is it rigged? How do you get chosen? Oh. So what what did you do? You just waited in line? No. I mean, you have to make an impression and you have about 10 seconds to do it. So the producers are like, they go through every single person that's there yeah. and you have like 10 seconds to just be as crazy as you can. And they want the craziest person, right? That's what. Yeah, I had for. a bit of an, a leg up because at the time I was in college and I was living, I was literally living across the street at Park yeah. La Brea you're in Park yeah, La Brea yeah, yeah. that's where we like we were doing a semester in California it was like abroad but obviously not abroad yeah. so I but because I was from Boston it was like a college it was like a college extravaganza so it was all a bunch of colleges college students so it seemed like I'd come from far away yeah. so I had a bit of an uh, like an uh, upper hand there because it seemed like I had traveled all this distance so I used that to my advantage I mean a t-shirt it's good to be you Bob Nice. That was to be you. Uh, I did a toe touch. What? You when did? They were, they were, awesome. Yeah. I did a toe touch. And I told all my friends, I was like, I'm getting on stage. And they so there was, me. there was no ping pong table. For some reason, I thought... No, there was to... a ping pong okay, table. Yeah, okay. But that was just a consolation prize. Yeah. Okay. And then I uh, gave it to my brothers because I was not living... Couldn't, couldn't you take money, though? You can no. Uh, no. No, no, no. You have to pay... Uh, taxes. On, taxes. Right. So I wanted to just get money because, like, if I play Plinko, there's no, like... It's not your money to begin with, so whatever yeah. you take out in taxes, it's like great. So I just wanted yeah. to play Plinko and spin the wheel. That's all I wanted. Yeah. And neither of those things happened. That's still pretty cool though that you did that. Yeah. That's like you know point zero zero one percent of society has ever. I mean, it was. I've had. I've had. I don't know what, exactly what my life goals are, but I know two of them were <laughs> to be on The Price Is Right and yeah. to meet John Bon Jovi. And within my first year in LA, I had done both. Oh, that's right. I forgot you. Man. So I peaked. You got a basically. picture with him too. I did. Yeah. I touched him. That's pretty cool. I'm not even a fan of him. I think that's pretty cool. Well, I'm a fan, but I'm not a fan. Like yeah, you're... no, I have a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I touched him. You just watched a segment of the show, Chasms of the Mind. To see the full episode, click the link below.